Uh, this is old cam. This is not a spring chicken. Today we're talking about media, old media versus new media. Or shall we say traditional media versus new media? And uh, a few years ago, Leslie Moonves of the CBS Broadcasting System said there, there is not, there is no new media and traditional media. They're just media. Well, the gentleman couldn't get <laughs> as much wrong as he okay. has been because it's actually the divide has grown worse. <laughs> I mean, th this week we lost two things that we should have easily gotten because we're new media. And the traditional people, they hate new media with a passion. I mean, here's some of the biggest, yeah. It, it always depends on who's handling the credentials and what their aspect is. And I understand that a lot of them feel threatened by new media because, of course, when you're looking for information, the first place you do is what? You go to the Internet. Yeah, right? they dig up information. Mm -hmm. I mean, for instance, we can put up more links to material than anybody that they currently have coming to the events that are going to be coming this in, an, in two weeks, which mm -hmm. we think is amazing. But the problem is, is that we are not one of them, and if you're not one of them, you're never going to be one of them, okay. ever. Which is, unfortunately, which we are, which they don't seem to understand either, because we are both news directors. We, we both actually, both world. We're actually in both worlds. Because we stand in both worlds. <laughs> because, I mean, here's part of it, it's, it's really kind of funny, because they talk about, oh, wait a minute, you have a YouTube channel, right? So, what, you post your things on YouTube? Well, there's a lot of major companies that have... YouTube channels. That's right. where they post their information. And they have websites and they have blogs. Mm -hmm. But I can guarantee you, after doing things at uh, at, we'll, we'll go to trade shows. New media is at the bottom of the list on trade shows. New media is on the bottom of the list on most award shows. New media is at the bottom of the list of industry functions, and um, and so it, it just old media, our traditional media is dying on the vine totally. And it's actually, I would say, probably one of the largest challenges because so many times when, well, I'll tell you, even like gifting suites, well, here, I'll give you an example, is they like to be able to say, like, this magazine and this magazine and that magazine were there. Well, yeah, they could be there, representatives could be there, but part of it is the content they want, yeah. right, mm -hmm. is not going to be as extensive because they may be looking to see what celebrity is there. For example, if Entertainment Tonight or Access Hollywood go to Gifting Suite, they're going back to talk to one celebrity or two celebrities, and that's about it, yeah. right? And they might give you a little bit of clip. There have been times when they've been doing other stuff, but there's many. Most of the times, it's like they don't even mention the Gifting Suite where they're at, no. right? The two they're talking. I mean, I, we went to. I, I, I went to an event. Where I'm sitting with the other news people, I'm actually I'm sitting with a camera crew. We're drinking wine and bourbon, so sometimes mixed together. And they're talking about it was a great suite. I mean, they really the people were good. The everybody was nice. The problem was is that there was nothing there that they could use for what they did because their the focus in old and traditional media is used to be like this and is coming more and more and more like this now. They're narrowing every bit of information they put out because of the expense and I mean they're getting it they're like uh, you know like the people like the tradition like the sharks running for the blood if they find oh hey somebody here everybody come you know you see the cell phones going off and everybody's grabbing their equipment and heading for the for an interview but see then uh, and that's the only thing that will go up from the event I went to is is I mean like the one guy said we spent we spent six hours and we got one piece of material Mm -hmm. Which doesn't justify five people five being people there. being there, plus a major, major personality. Mm -hmm. It's just and so they can't afford to do it. Whereas new media can mm -hmm. afford to go do it because new media thrives off of uh, volume, and uh, the reason why a lot of new media things don't work is because they have no. Well, they put up twelve articles. And, well, my gosh, why isn't this thing doing better? Because it's, if they don't know you exist, then they can't find you. Mm -hmm. They know NBC, CBS, ABC. They know the Los Angeles Times. They know the, the Washington Post. They know they exist. Mm -hmm. So they can be found on the Internet. But they so hate the Internet that they do everything they can to destroy it. Well, we're going to charge people money for our services, which you can't do. The instant you charge people, they stop watching. They won't read your... They won't come to an Internet site. Uh, you know, if you can go to the library and pick up the paper or the magazine for nothing, They'll go to the library and pick it up for nothing rather than to pay, you know, five bucks to see the same thing on the internet. You know, I'm, it's, it made me just think about it. There was 
a news publication that came out with a, a daily magazine for, what, $5 a month or something? Yep. I was trying to remember who that was. Are they still around? No. Virtually all yeah. of them. Everybody, every newspaper and magazine that basically has tried to charge people for looking at the stuff, you know, has basically collapsed because... Mm -hmm. um, uh, the thing is, advertisers will not go to the internet because they can't. They don't understand the metrics of the internet. They, they don't understand that some everybody steals material. Mm -hmm. You don't care if they steal. If you got okay, say you did a thing on on um, Joe Blow's site, and you had an advertisement for say a, a popular soft drink, and they uh, people lift the material and put it on a thousand other sites. All they care about is Joe Blow's site, mm -hmm. not the fact that it's being seen in a thousand Which other is, places. I know. It's Which is sometimes the challenging part because it's, uh, let's just say traditional media often goes by the statistics that they can measure. Yeah. And the confusing part about the internet is they don't know how to measure it because they, they like to go to one place. Yeah, they right? like to go to one place instead of doing, okay, what it is is old media is lazy. When old media was new media, they did. They went everywhere you could. Oh, they, you know, they were on the street. They were on the telephone. They did surveys. They did everything you could think of to find, you know. And then they put it all together, and they could come up with a thing. So now all old media does is they go to one site, and they do one. You know, well, if it's not on, we didn't. You know, only five people came to that page. Well, those five people all stole them information, mm -hmm. and uh, and that's it. And then you know, and then. When they do things on new media, they screw it really up. Well, we did this survey on the internet, and 75% of the people said they were likely to use our product in the next six months. Well, this doesn't work. Because anybody will, first of all, people don't like to do surveys on the internet, and they're likely to say anything. Okay, you can't trust what people tell you on the internet. They lie. So... Um, but, um, I mean, we get, I get unhappy. I mean, here, here, I'll give you an example. Okay, um, so let's, we'll ask, we'll ask you, okay, so um, how likely are you to go into the supermarket um, in the next couple days? Very likely because we're running out of stuff to eat, so, but, but, how, but, but if, if, if I were to give you a coupon worth ten dollars off of your grocery bill, would you be more likely to go to the supermarket in the next couple of days? I was going more to, likely than before. Well, I was going to go to the supermarket anyway, so which therefore means the survey is. So you say, okay, I'm I'm more likely to go that where I was going to go, where I just told you I had to go because it was out of food, but. I'm, I'll be, I'll say, oh, give me $10, okay, I'll go within a couple of days. <laughs> okay. But I've already said I was going anyways, and mm -hmm. this is the problem with doing the survey stuff. On the internet, people basically, the, um, they don't know what to do. I mean, like, uh, I mean, I do do surveys. They'll go right down the line, and then, and then it gets, well, it's not, okay, then they'll bounce you off because it's not what they were looking for. Mm -hmm. They only, on the internet, they only keep the survey material that coincides with the material that they thought they should be getting. So it doesn't work. I mean, it's just, I mean, it's like, um, the, I mean, first of all, here's a good one. If you're new media trying to cover new media, they want traditional media to cover it, not new media. Mm -hmm. Isn't that a good one? That I can guarantee you that a, a, a newspaper from Taos, New Mexico, will get more, uh, more reception covering a new media event from the people putting it together than would be somebody doing something for like CNNI report. Mm -hmm. Because they can't guarantee CNI report will ever be seen by anybody. But they know that two people in Taos, New Mexico will see the, see it. Because that's all the people there. And they can say, well, that we have 100% of the people that read this publication. I know it is kind of ridiculous, isn't it? No, I mean, but it, it gets irritating and she's trying to find her way around. And, you know, the chair dog is basically trying to find her way through things. So here's the question is, do you, think, do you see it changing anytime soon? No. It's, never, it's not, never going to change. Uh, at new, uh, old media is dying. It's dying with every day. It gets less and less. There's less publications. There's less. They, they said no, virtually no. Okay. They don't, watch tele, they don't watch broadcast news on the networks or on cable anymore for the simple reason that they don't, they don't, um, they basically have became, 
in order to cut costs, they keep going like this, keep going like this. And as Ted Koppel said, it's not our job to tell people it's the truth, it's just to prevent this, to present the story and let the people decide what the truth is. That's not the way it is. And I always will point out that that uh, Pravda means truth in Russian. So you're, li you're more likely to get truth out of a communist newspaper than you are out of something that the United States does. In that sounds media. so odd. I know. Because don't they control all their media. They control the media. But they, uh, here we don't control the media, but our media is in the pocket of certain, okay, uh, certain political organizations, certain business things basically control 100% of the media. I know, which is kind of sad because you think that we have the, the freedom of speech here. Not now. It's not as free as you would think. And then a lot of times if the publications will, uh, should I say, bow to the advertisers. Yeah, I can guarantee you that, that when I was in college, you know, eight years ago, generations ago, it was basically right over the thing into the into the uh, area where the journalism department was, you know, freedom of speech belongs to people that own the presses. Mm -hmm. That's who got to, you know, if you don't own it, you don't basically, the internet is a threat to traditional media because the internet is ran by rabbles, which is why the president wants to control it, why the Democratic Party wants to control it, why nations want to control it, because if you control it, then the only access you have to what any you know what people's version of anything will be the media that they control, which is traditional. Mm -hmm. but traditional media is dying. Mm -hmm. The state's not going to subsidize traditional media. The the uh, okay the people that own the traditional media are cutting costs. I mean, look at one company after another after another after another is in bankruptcy because the advertisers are pulling out. So. This is our, 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 actually, we always grump about the new media and the old media every time we get turned down for things that, we're the only people that actually want to cover one of the things. And they would rather have no coverage than have new media cover. Yeah, and so, there's so many times it's because they, they're not familiar with the outlet and they don't know what to expect. Well, they don't bother to check, they won't check. Uh, and, well, actually, that's true, they are very lazy. That's right. Yeah, they are very they lazy. They don't know the name. Even if you're on their press list? They're on your press list. I mean, we actually... <laughs> you're not, like, major networks? <laughs> we were actually asked to cover an event, and then they they sent us a letter, or they sent us a decline. The people that asked us to cover it then sent us a letter declining our request to cover. We didn't ask to cover. They asked us, for Christ's sake. Mm -hmm. They declined us because, well, you people are new. They just said that, uh, you know, that you can go to... I love it. You can go to new media to get the information that we're not going to allow new media to cover. Oxymoron, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So I guess until our next time when we get turned down for things that no one else wants to do, this is all him. And this is not a spring chick. And we're here yesterday, today, and tomorrow. And for more information? You can go to www.mondybubbles.net on the net or our commercial news site, which is www.mbnnewsvideoweb.com. And wherever you're watching, subscribe to us, follow our daily newscast in 3D. And thank you once again for over hundreds and hundreds of millions of links on the internet. And oh, also, if you're looking for product placement, right? Come join us at thetravelsuite.com because we have a guide that we've just come up with that helps film and television companies find your company that you would like to see in film and TV.